yo guys welcome to the channel so it's been weeks since the passing of nigerian singer mobad and you guys know that his passing has actually brought a lot of um wave on social media where people were saying justice for mobad considering circumstances the surrounding his passing now one of the major issues was the fact that after a few days that this young boy lost his life people started clamoring on social media it just became as if there was like a group of people who had a meeting and said okay that this guy's son the son that mobad knew as his child the son that he had a baby shower for was there according to the wife that he was there you know throughout uh, for her throughout the pregnancy the son that he had the son that was five months before his young father you know suddenly passed this boy People on social media said they're clamoring and saying, oh, the wife should even do a DNA test that this guy, the young boy, Liam um, Imole, like they call him too, was not Mubad's son. In fact, there was a group that began to say, oh, look at his face. He doesn't look like Mubad. In fact, another group said he looked more like Sam Larry. Remember Sam Larry? Sam Larry is the guy who actually harassed Mubad in Mubad's lifetime, or one of the guys at least that we know of. This was so sad because no time in Mobad's lifetime did Mobad ever come out to say, oh, I don't trust my wife, I don't trust my girlfriend, I don't trust my fiancé, that um, um, the child that she has for me isn't my child. Now, this is Mobad and his fiancé. They've known themselves for over 10 years. When Mobad had nothing, when he had absolutely nothing, they met at a very young age, you know, and they kept on dating up until the point where he said they're seeing small, small money. You understand so now this lady did not cheat when mobad had nothing now there's um they are almost seeing them um, seeing the good life and you think that she's going to now cheat and now have a child for mobad and in mobad's lifetime he never hinted to anybody not you not me not the blog not social media to say that oh i feel like this child might not be my child in fact they were even married so there are people who are not even married to each other but they have children they share kids together and some of those people don't even say oh this child is not my own no they imagine people that are married you understand and this young girl lost her young husband and in like few days she had to start dealing with the fact that random people on social media were accusing her of infidelity to somebody that she shared many years of her life with listen um, when i saw this whole post and now um the dna result is out DNA result is out and the news is that Mubad is the father of this young boy. And immediately I saw that post. I think a lot of blogs carried where they said, oh, DNA result is out now and everybody is quiet. Nobody is accusing the lady anymore of um, her son being Sam Larry Stroud. So finally, it's confirmed. This young boy who Mubad has actually claimed that was his son in his lifetime. In Mubad's passing, we have confirmed again that this child is Mubad's child. So shame on every single person who came out unprovoked unprovoked to accuse Mubad's wife of you know infidelity to accuse Mubad's wife of having a child for Mubad and that was not Mubad's child and you know what happened when I just saw this post I was like see you know how you watch African magic 152 not even 151 epic the village one where a woman loses her husband and they say oh drink the water that he used to bath him or they say shave your hair or they just tell you to do some barbaric things and we say oh these people are wicked um these are 1940 things or 1930 things and these are barbaric things that they do to widows when they lose their husband it was just so shocking and painful that educated people came together clamoring this is not your business this guy never told you in his lifetime that oh i suspect that this child is not my own but because he just passed and the circumstances surrounding his death the next thing educated people people who have um, were hex certificates who even went to primary school secondary school university have a master's degree phd holders came together People who are educated, who are supposed to be more enlightened, they came together and harassed a young girl online. I can't even imagine how Mobad's wife is not popular. So you might, she might, if she was a popular celebrity, I'm sure she would have put camera and done live video and cried for us. But we didn't get to see that. We didn't get to see all that because she's not a very popular person. You know, people just even knew her after Mobad's passing. You guys, it was just so sad to see that adults, grown-up people came out to accuse this lady falsely. And I'm actually happy that they did this DNA test too. On this small boy at least she would have peace of mind that at least the last memory of her husband the last something you people claim you love mubad this son of mubad is how would i put it his legacy something that lives after him and he tried to snatch that away from his you know his his soul let me even say his soul and you know his wife it was just so sad to see that grown-ups came online 
to just perpetrate this kind of evil because this is evil this is evil you cannot claim you love mobile and you when he passed in just few minutes you are claiming that the child he told you in his lifetime was his child wasn't his child it's just so sad I hope this his wife finds um, closure and wisdom to move forward from here. I hope that she has the wisdom to protect her child and you know do, know the right thing to do to just protect her, her child from the eyes of these evil people because they are not stopping anytime soon. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, guys. It's the Rostro. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.